Well, I did a video about the Jim Davison and Ashley Banjo thing yesterday, and it's had nearly 12,000 views on it in the course of the last 24 hours or so. Absolutely incredible. Now, what really interests me is the difference between the actual truthful reaction and opinion to this and what you read in the press. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Thursday. I'm in my car today, actually at Stansted Airport. Turkey is open. I don't know if you knew that. The six people I've just dropped here are going to Turkey. And the six people I'm picking up to take home again have just come in from Tenerife. So there are people going back and forward, which is all good. Anyway, Jim Davison. I put a video out yesterday. Nearly 12,000 people have watched it. It's one of the, probably one of the most popular videos I've put on for some time. And what really interested me was the mainstream media reaction to what happened with Jim. You know, Ashley Banjo is brilliant. Ashley Banjo pinned him to the wall. Ashley Banjo did this. Ashley Banjo read his questions off an iPhone. What a legend. Oh, fuck right off. You're not fooling anybody. Anybody at all. Let me show you something, right? On YouTube, you have three metrics that you look at. How many people viewed a thing? How many people liked it? And how many people disliked it? Have a look at this. So off all of those views, it says 11,000 in the screen dump, but it's actually 11,979, I think. A thousand people have liked what I've had to say in defense of Jim Davison, and only a very small, small handful out of all those many views have disliked it. And reading the over 200 comments as well, positive in the main, probably 90 to 95% all positive in Jim Davison's favour. Okay, nearly 12,000 views is a very small portion of the population of this country that actually give a shit. But if you go and read any of the papers, Jim's the bad guy, Jim's racist, Jim's homophobic and everything else. Yet yeah, a little YouTuber like me does what I've done and you see the reaction to the contrary. It just shows you, don't believe everything you read in the press. It's not only Jim Davison, it's other things that are going on recently as well, which I will talk about later. Things you can see coming a mile off and over the hills. Anyway, I'm off for now, and I'll see you a bit later with another one. Toodaloo!